my mobile detailing people. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another detailing video, you guys. I got my man Jay up here. Say your name again, bro. Eric. And I got my man Eric up here. He's a ride along. So y'all know how I am with names. I'm amazing with names. But we up here knocking out the RV, you guys. It's a whole bunch of dirt and grime up here. This trip was about an hour away. I'm thankful my brothers came to help me out because I couldn't have did this by myself, man. Why do you need people? This job right here would take me all day by myself, literally. I'd probably be out here for about three hours for the top, the outside another two. I say a total of about six hours, man. I'll be up here. Is this exterior only? Exterior only. Yeah, yeah, man. So exterior only, we're gonna throw in a ceramic ceiling for them. And other than that, hey, we got about three or four more, so we gotta really get this done, y'all. All right, Wayne. When it comes to a quoting, how do you quote this? Per job, per square feet? Uh, normally square feet. I have a guy that I send the specs to and he quotes it for me. I have a lot of people always asking me like, man, what did you quote that? I'm learning just like you're learning. I'm mainly cars, you guys. So this one is 450. This one should have been 650, 750, but Right now, what I'm focused on is the relationship. She wants to sign up for reoccurring. So everything is a lesson, you know what I mean? So soon I'll have all this on my website with set packaging to where they could pick according to their square footage. Right now I don't have that, that's, that's being developed. What's next, Wayne? What's next is we finish the top. So once we're done with the top, we're gonna come down, rinse it so we don't scratch it, foam it again, wash it just like we do a car, simple. Then we're going to put the ceramic ceiling on there, and then that's a wrap. We're headed to the next one. Simple as that. But um, I got my man. Um, did you say his name was Eric? I believe. He'll come back down and talk to you guys. I'm amazing with names, as I said before, up there. But he's coming. He's riding along. What does that mean, ride along? An employee, a trainee, a... A little bit of all that, man. So they come out and do a hands-on ride along. This is his first time out here doing mobile detailing. He's coming to get hands-on. We're going to teach him everything that we know, our breakdown, our process and just for him to get a feel of it before he gets started. So for all the beginners out there that wanna get a feel for it, they're a little nervous to get out there and do cars, this man's starting his first one on an RV. So that's a big deal. So <laughs> he hit you up and said, hey, I wanna start a detailing business, but before I do, let me go see how it is. So he has a business partner. He emailed me, he reached out to me and said he watched my videos and I want my business partner to know the business. So he sent them out, he's from the Bay Area. I kinda of probably should let him tell the story. So you guys stay tuned for him to tell the story. I'm giving a little insight. Hey, my name's Eric and I'm learning from Wayne today. Where are you from? Uh, San Francisco Bay Area. And what are you doing today, man? So I'm shadowing uh, Wayne and Dre to learn uh, what de detailing is all about. Learn the process through and through. I'm looking to start my own business um, from scratch. So I want to learn what they do and kind of just emulate what they're doing. Okay. This is your first time detailing ever. This is my first time detailing ever, yeah. I only watch my car every once, you know, every once in a while, but full on detail, this would be a first. I know it hasn't been a long time, but what have you learned so far? What's one thing you learned with your first RV? I think the most important thing is making sure you have all the right equipment. So making sure at the start of the day, you have everything you need for the job understanding the process for each different vehicle. So like for this, the roof is super, was super dirty and then the gutters were super clogged. So every time we rinsed it and the gutters you know, got rinsed, it would shoot dirt back out. So it's important to keep the water constant and keep the gutters clean first so that the water can rinse off properly. So every job is obviously different. This one was super, super dirty and everything was caked up on the very top of the RV. But we got that taken care of now and finish up the rest. All right, my last question is, are you with the heat, bro? Yeah, so I live up north, or down south, and it's not as hot. It's been hot the past week, but it's pretty cool over there. It's getting warm, so I'm gonna take off this flannel, do just a t-shirt, and then I have a different t-shirt in case I sweat out of this one, because Sacramento's hot, man. It's hot over here. So, Wayne. Yeah. Somebody wants an opportunity right? to come learn about detailing. What do you offer? What do I offer? I offer a hands-on training. Me, for instance, I learn when I actually get to touch it. I can see it all day. 
and just be like, that, that looks good. But when I get out there, I lose it. So I have to get that hands-on. So what I'm offering is hands-on training from start to finish, air compressor, wipe down, my method and how I go about it. And also marketing, how to get more clients. We're gonna talk, you're gonna sit alongside me for eight hours straight. So you're gonna get to hear everything that I do that you can implement. And if you don't like how I go about it, you could, you know, at least you have an idea come up with your own thing that works for you, you know what I mean? I didn't have that when I started, you know what I mean? I had to watch YouTube and get out there and make those mistakes, make those purchases I shouldn't have made. You get to come and grab the equipment and like, oh, I don't like that, oh, I like that chemical, oh, I don't like that. So it's just a hands-on, verbally seeing the clients come out, you get to actually talk with them. There's nothing like that hands-on. So come out, ride along with me, let's talk. And most of all, if you love the Lord, talk about the Lord, pray together, work together, learn together, grow together. Let's do it. Where can they reach you at? You can reach me at YouTube, the link in the description below, click that. You can follow me on Instagram, click the link, write me in the inbox, Facebook, Google. I'm all over, man. There's no reason why you can't find me. And also in the YouTube videos, you see it on the, the number on the van. Call it up. You may get the receptions, you may not get me, but let her know, she'll uh, call me and we'll get to you, simple as that. And also, just cause you're coming out here riding with me, there's something that I can learn from you. So that's why I said, let's learn together, let's grow together. Like this man, he's out riding with me, but he's coming up with some amazing ideas. I'm humble, I don't know it all. So just keep that in mind, let's learn together. All right, Wayne, what's the process, man, for the ceramic? What are we gonna be using? Shout out to Sus Lab. There it is, the hydro coat. So what's dope about this, uh, it reminds me of the Gion wet coat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pre-wet it, spray this on, this is a spray on rinse off. So when you spray it on and you rinse it, it covers the whole RV and then we're able to just dry it in and that's gonna put the protection on there. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna maintain it from there. Every time we come out once a month, we'll go ahead and put a coat of protection on there and just keep it protected. So yep, until the day that they want that ceramic coating. You know what I mean? It's the ceramic sealant coating particles in here, but it's not the full-fledged thing. So hopefully one day they'll go ahead and opt in with that, get that five-year. I heard something as big as 10 years. What's the highest coating that you guys heard of? Comment it in the comments down below. My view on higher coatings, it defeats the purpose because once they get that 10 year, what I need you for, I'm protected for 10 years. So the one year, the two years, I think is more ideal for us to continue to service it versus getting ditched. Let me know what you guys think. All right, Wayne. What's something a new detailer should know about sealants? Specifically this one. For example, is there a time frame of how long it could stay or a wrong way to apply it? It's so easy. Only thing you have to worry about is the sun. Your sun and the way you wipe, it shouldn't be something that you wipe extremely hard to put scratches on the vehicle. But the sun and wiping real softly and reading the instructions. Detailing is nothing difficult. It's just building your technique and your systems. You may do things differently from the instructions because you figured out something that works for you. So get out there, learn from somebody, learn from watching YouTube and develop your own technique. You know, simple as that. Hey Wayne, so there's water spots on the windows, man. Yeah. It's all your fault, Wayne. Hey man. No. So, <laughs> you're telling us, you could tell which ones are yours, which yeah. ones have been there. How can you tell? In the beginning, you blame yourself for everything. That's what I, oh my gosh, I did. Oh, that's why inspections is very important, really, to be honest. And sometimes I'm so quick to get started that sometimes I even miss it and you'll pay for it. For instance, to tell if the water spots are yours or if it was there is you'll look lightly. You'll look at the light water spots and you'll learn this over time over leaving water spots and you'll be able to tell the difference. So that one that Reyes is touching in, touching right there, that's a light one. And these ones right here we did. Here's a whole section of them right here, Reyes. A whole lot more. Oh yeah. So those are really light. And then if you come over here, you can see the heavy ones. So what are you using, Wayne? This is water spot remover. You can also use acid, will acid. Works amazing with water spots. Simple as that. So I'm gonna spray it on here, wipe it on. He's gonna come and diffuse it with the window cleaner. All right, Wayne, so how do you communicate this with the customer after the detail that the water spots were there already? Because there's some customers out there be like, hey, you left water spots in my car. Hey, has that ever happened to you? 
Yeah, you know what I tell him? What'd you tell him? I got spot free water. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's it. I tell him that's not possible. I got spot free water. Now let's say somebody wanted water spot removal. Right. How much would you charge? Jeez, for something like this, I wouldn't even know how to charge. So I'm gonna ask you guys in the comments down below if you have water spots all over. Bro, that's something like a $2,500 job. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's just my guess because that's the whole process. Cause after you do this, I believe you would want to polish it because that's the process I would take. What you think, Jay? <clears throat> I think the same thing probably. I think for cars, you could probably get away without a polish. Maybe this one not because this is a gel coat and it's different than clear coat. So it's probably going to dole it out more than a clear coat. That's my guess. Like I said, we're, we're taking guesses. So that's my take on it. That's a wrap, you guys. We got here at 7.15. It is now 9.38. Bro, that's good time. All the work that we put up, bro, that's, give me some, man. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's how you do it. What, two, two and a half hours? Two and a half hours, bro. That's a wrap, you guys. That's the process. That's the breakdown. Any other input you guys have for us, drop it in the comments. Anything that we was doing right, congratulate. Anything that we was doing wrong, comment it down below. Let's learn together. Let's grow together. RV knocked out. We headed to the next three. Got a full day, so I'll catch y'all in the next video. Let's go.